And we are alive. Good, um, good evening, Roger. Good afternoon and uh, good morning, everyone. Um, today, we are going to have this chat with Roger Tan. Um, well, if you didn't know him, uh, well, he's probably one of the most awarded um, Asian photographers internationally. And uh, he's a WPP, I think, a triple master or double master. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's like, he's the gold awards just dropping out of his pocket every single year. I think there was once he got um, first place and second place and third place in creative weddings, uh, creative prayer weddings. So I was, you know, we had a drink after, you know, after that awards night, I was talking to Roger, I said, dude, you need to stop entering the competition. Otherwise, nobody's going to enter because you took out all the awards. Um, so this is how good he was. To be honest, I um, I nerd a lot. He's a good friend of mine. I nerd, nerd lots, lots, lots from this guy, especially in terms of how to have a flawless workflow between your uh, lighting to your workflow, right? Where's the shadow detail? Where's the, um, you know, where does dynamic range goes? And what's the most natural way to mimic the natural light? How does uh, your modifier, you know, change the quality of lights? How does your color gel change the shift, the white balance to mimic different, the sunlights at different time? He is the master and, uh, May like every time I just talk to this guy, it was just feel like I know uh, lots of new things, and uh, that's why he's coming back and share with uh, us the recent uh, creative shoot which he did a couple of a um, couple of days ago, and uh, I certainly feel like the images looks amazing, and um, I can't wait myself. I hope you guys enjoy the talk as well. Welcome, Roger. Hi, actually, Eris is kidding. Yeah. I'm not kidding, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I love this guy, and uh, I feel like... better than me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, stop the Asian humble fight, mate. Okay, uh, Erisa, may I have the link? I, I just try to share it out first. Give me a few yeah, seconds. Do you, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. Do you want to share now? Like, yeah, do you want to share the screen I, now? Uh, I share to a few groups, and we start. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Go. Uh, but I didn't see my... No, uh, not the link, not the link we chat, uh, just on your Facebook. If you go to yeah, Facebook, yeah. it should be already there. But I can't see... Welcome, uh, I'm inside my... the Facebook. Hi. You see? Uh, is it inside the Godox channel? Yeah. yeah it's yeah. the Godox page. Just go to Godox. Uh, uh, uh. You know what? I should share that too. One Hello, minute. Kojima Hoi. We all miss you here. I hope uh, family is well and safe. And uh, hopefully, um, hopefully when this is over, I can visit you in Japan and uh, we can all catch up and have a drink all together. Hello, Anis. How are you? Good to see you, mate. Hello, John. Really cool, uh, really cool headshots. Hello, hi guys. Hi, Barat. Should I call you Barat? Yeah. Manas, Kuma. Hello, Sanjay. Hey, guys. There is, I can't see the link. <laughs> so sorry about that. Yeah, maybe. Uh... Do you wanna Do you wanna go to my Facebook page? I've just shared on my Facebook oh, okay, page. Yeah, so cool, you can... cool, cool, cool. I go to the Facebook page and share it. Is... Oh, parabolic 65 inch. That's something nice. Okay, I just share... Hello, Belgian. What time is it there? Hi, Pavel. Ah, it's amazing how, um, you know, it's kind of fun, isn't it? I mean, um, before the photo shoots, I meet a lot of mates and friends. I do workshops in Sydney, so I catch up with my fr lots of friends locally, and it's amazing. Uh, with this Facebook Live, we see people all over the world, from Malaysia, from India, from uh, from Europe, right, from United States. Um, it's just cool, and we all 
gather together and uh, I hope your time this makes your time worthwhile and uh, we honor something including myself from Roger very very tan um, the one and only um, the best uh, you know Asian photographers in terms of composites and um, <laughs> the legend in flesh himself <gasps> Hello, hello, Julio, Julio, right? Asia from India from. Oh. All right. Cool guys. All of a sudden, everybody joins. Cool. Okay. You done? Yeah. Do you need to uh, take a hot bath and come back? <laughs> <laughs> no need, no need. All right. I drink, I drink water first. Cool. Cheers, mate. Oh. So. Okay. Roger has recently done a wonderful, uh, wonderful shots. Um, um, he's he's doing the, the the humble thing, right? He says just mimic the natural lights. It's nothing close to mimic natural lights. It's almost like a cosplay uh, mix, uh, a kind of I don't know, illustrative um, cartoonic look. It's very um. It's almost almost looks like one of the Japanese uh, fantasy movies. So I'm sure Kojima's going to enjoy it. And uh, and Kojima has probably have a better say in it. Hello, Africa. Cool, my. What time is it there? Hello, Li Hong. So, um, do you want to ask? Do you want to jump into the the talk? Do you want to share with us your uh, PowerPoint, or you want to start with share your uh, fantastic uh, short video okay. of yours? Uh, for the first, I uh, just show you the slideshow. Uh, cool. About few few All of right. my job, okay. Sure. Share screen. Okay. Share audio. Hi, mate. Based in Sydney, or Melbourne, or Victorians. Okay. Oh my, long, long list. Here we go. Okay. All right.
All right. Did I or did I not mention Roger Tang is so good? He's so uh, you know, he's that so good. So basically, if you guys watch the uh, video, you will see lots of his masterpieces. Um, he does natural lights. Uh, he does use um, you know off camera flash like all our mortals do. <laughs> In a sense, we um, you know we do Y images, right? And uh, but here's something about Roger. He does lots of creative composite uh which is fantastic because he creates pieces no one else in the world does the same so he i i would i would say his style is very unique and uh his work is just that one piece that nobody was able to replicate even um that's what makes him so unique and makes him so special and that's why i love about that guy Lots of people sometimes think, you know, uh, it is about um, Photoshop. It is like you need to cut piece, piece, pieces and put their hair, then there it requires lots of fine arts and illustrative background. But here's something about Roger it's because I work with him, I, I, I see the way his lighting is very particular and specific. And uh, with the right lighting, it is. A way easier to to do composite or to do to what to achieve whatever the look you want to, and here I would say, hmm, he was he's going to share some uh, some tips with his latest skills in his one of his recent shots. Roger, do you want to start by sharing your PPT? Okay, no problem. And um, and we can start to um, to jump into the questions. Oh man, Hoba is cool. Like all my mates are, are actually going to Hoba for holidays because no no one's going to be able to make it internationally. So I think half of senior side is actually going down all the way to Tassie. <laughs> um, before we get started, here's we have a question for you. Did you use a 3D render for your mixed photo? Yeah, actually, I have few photos. Uh, I use three D render. Yep. Uh, may maybe I will show you next time. Yeah. Okay. So majorly yeah. Photoshop, right? Yeah. Because uh, okay. Uh, okay. I didn't put inside. Maybe uh, okay. next round I will show you. Maybe next round. Yeah. Let's do that next yeah. time. Okay. All right. Go ahead. My all yours. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a lighting I'm using now, Vodox AD300 Pro. I have two, and one AD400 and uh, two AD200. So uh, mostly uh, I'm going out for uh, the wedding shooting. I bring uh, 200, but now I have 300. <laughs> now uh, mostly I will bring it out because it are uh, quite small. And uh, today, uh, what I'm talking about is uh, uh, this kind of photo. Okay. Uh, soft lighting. Okay. Uh, so before uh, I start, before I start the soft lighting, uh, I want to uh, explain something uh, before I shooting. So. Uh, the concept is really important. So this uh, this time I'm used the flower for the concept. Okay. So after uh, when I think I want to use flower for the creation. So what I want to think about uh, is a uh, expression. Yeah. What kind of the message you want to bring it out, and uh, the props of course is the flower. Okay. Uh, and you need to know that. If you have a flower props, you need to know what kind of material is it, uh, and uh, also nature. Uh, the flower is soft, color, colorful, and pale. Uh, this time I choose the pale, pale one, uh, and also the lighting plan. Okay, uh, the next, uh, the next PowerPoint I will show you what kind of lighting plan I use. Okay, and overall. Is it uh, what what kind of uh, team you want to use it? 
okay let's say the ambient something okay I'll show you the next piece one okay uh, I now I have three kind of editing skill one we call flat the flat is a uh, no black color inside it start from a uh, dark gray tone till the light gray tone so I call it flat okay another is a uh, contrast the con contrast type for editing the contrast is uh, got black color and also got white color the, then the picture is uh, show, show here is really contrast and another one is soft soft uh, is like that okay okay finally I choose the soft one because I want to uh, make it smooth and uh, relax and soft looks sweet and beautiful uh, then the girls uh, got a gray hair uh, look like elves and fantasy okay so uh, the soft color also very really comfortable uh, and the, the I have an expect here okay uh, I make, mark an expect point here uh, it's because the florist uh, expect me to shoot it like a uh, uh, else okay so uh, I have this few point can remind me when uh, I do editing okay uh, and also increase my imagination so oh I write here okay yeah, I quite enjoy the color palettes. Uh, oh. I think the makeup, you know, the makeup artist and the florist has just done a great job as team work together. Guys, guys, if you pay attention, her yes. skin is so pale, right? And it's almost mimicked by the flowers in the front, isn't that? And her, uh, her chin color and her lipsticks, it's kind of pinkish red. It's not like red, dark red, red. It's like pinkish red, which is mimicked by the other, you know, pinky roses. On the right and um, on the on the top left, which is creates this nice balance, and and also creates this relationship between the flower and the main subject. It's it's beautiful and you know it's beautiful. It's something so simple, and um, you know we when we were talking about flowers, it just cost you almost like next to nothing, right? But the styling here, it's the concepts are actually you know. Um, it's just makes all the images, everything, but the lightings and uh, the the props, which is flowers and the makeups, just everything just comes together, which is beautiful. Thank you, Iris. Okay. So, uh, before uh, we jump, you know, Roger. Before we jump, the, uh, jump into the next question. Here is a question for you. I I'm not too sure if it's uh, for this particular image. But his like image do we have seen in video right now for creating those kind of images? Multiple exposure blending required. Did we need to stack multiple images at the post in the Photoshop so we can get this kind of color and the exposure in huge dynamic range? Um, speak for myself, um, for Roger, because George, Roger did my wedding photo, did my pre-wedding photos for me and uh, my misses a uh, couple years back and you'll be surprised because mo but back then i think he was using uh nikon so back then the dynamic range is good like with what he do i don't think you can get away with canon <laughs> but with nikon <laughs> one exp <laughs> one exposure that's that's enough or sony you know or adding you know higher end mirrorless camera now with his particular style of shooting I can't speak for him for now, but five years ago, he achieved the look you described uh, with, uh, you know, with wine exposure. Is it? Yeah, actually, I seldom do different exposure. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, next time when you do some measurement, uh, sometimes we, we aim for the uh, white area, the bright area. Mm -hmm. We will make the exposure to the middle. Actually, you can uh, make the make it to the right, uh, nearly the end. Mean, means uh, the white is uh, nearly white, and then you can get a 
very good detail in uh, when you do shooting. Yeah. So, so you are saying single exposure, just make sure you expose to the highlights. Is that yes. what you're saying? Yes. Cool. Yes. Yep. All right, Matt, here's your answer. Okay. Hope you enjoy it, Raja. I think it's more about editing rather than um, rather than exposure, in a sense. Maybe later on, um, Roger can share his Facebook group. You can join them and ask more detailed questions from there. In this talk, let's just focus on lighting. Uh, can I use Godox trigger for triggering Flashpoint Evolve 2 Pro? I uh, I have no idea. I would uh, say Godox trigger would trigger 8200 Pro. Um, I would assume they work together, but my uh, check up check out at, at your local dealer. I cannot guarantee that. I have never used the Flashpoint myself, so I can't say that for sure. Hmm. All right, let's um, go back to the talk. Okay, so um, for this kind of picture, actually I put three lighting. Uh, okay, I will show the lighting. So uh, I have three lighting here. Actually, the first one, because uh, although it's uh, something like pale uh, and soft picture, we, we still need to shoot it uh, looks 3D. If you just... Uh, apply a direct light for the bright uh, will, uh, the bright will looks the, after the picture effect will looks very flat so uh, I will show you how, how I do the lighting so uh, I first I will use the, uh, the the first one the light uh, that one is for the uh, how to say uh, the direction the direction uh, I want to show the direction, the light from the left, okay? So after the first lighting I apply, you can see I got a uh, dark shadow inside. So I need to apply another light to soften the, uh, to, to bring out the uh, shadow detail. Means uh, after you bring out the shadow detail, the, the image look a bit soft, okay? So you can see the number two. The number two here, I apply another light. Later, I will show you the uh, how how power the uh, I used the, for the light. Okay, so this is a concept. So the first uh, the third third piece you can see uh, at the neck here. The second piece the neck here is uh, a bit too dark. So I will apply the third light to fill to the shadow part, the deepest shadow part. So uh, you have three light. After that. Now you see uh, the first light from the left, the middle, middle light, the second light to the mid-tone, and also the uh, third light for the dark shadow part, okay? Can I ask a question, Roger? Um, yeah. Can we get away with one fill or we absolutely need two fill lights? Uh, actually, you can use one fill, but uh, if you want, uh, less editing, you can use, uh, two. you can use two to three. Three, two yeah, 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 yeah. So this is the result, the first light, to give the uh, the direction, fill light to the sh uh, mid tone, and the third light for the dark shadow part. Okay, so you can get a really soft, uh, beautiful image. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So I jump to the next one. So this is the original raw file. I apply with three lighting. So you can see the light from the left. After that, I feel light to the mid tone and the shadow part. So I use three light. Okay. It's beautiful. So uh, after edit, this is a picture after edit. So, to be honest, I think it's more about the lighting, isn't it? Because you know, even with the raw images, uh, the yeah. way you lead the girl, uh, the model, she's her skin already. You've already seen all the details, especially with all the shadow details already there. There's not yes. much to to do besides just, of course, 
adding this yeah. finesse in her skin retouch. I guess uh, uh, maybe do some exposure and also also uh, bring up the shadow part and also uh, a bit contrast. Then the photo is done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's really easy if you apply the uh, good lighting to your picture. That's yeah. good. Otherwise, you need to do masking. If you use one light, a lot of things need to do. Okay, so uh, uh, somebody say why uh, you also can use natural light, but uh, natural light you cannot control the direction. So uh, that's why I use the fast light. Once I can control the direction, and the second one, uh, the skin feel with uh, the first light will look more detailed. Okay, uh, if natural light is uh, a bit soft and flat. Okay. So this is another example. Okay. Uh, I use one over two. Uh, is it call it one over two? Ha yeah, half, half, <laughs> one, half, uh, half, uh, plus zero point seven lighting. So uh, you can see the the lighting create the shape for the lightest part, uh, uh, especially the face, yeah, the neck, and also the shoulder and chest. So uh. The first lighting, not just put uh, put at the left. You need to know uh, the light can cover which part. Uh, maybe so. For example, the face, uh, and and also the hands also. Like, okay. Yeah. So the so second that's the light, key. Lights. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. That's the key lights, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the second one feel like. You need to make sure uh, the mid tone uh, means the shadow part. Why why I put a uh, quarter? Is it called quarter plus zero three? Yeah. Because the lighting is lower than uh, the half light, so uh, mm -hmm. it can uh, it will not cover the first light. It just for feel light to the mid tone. Okay. <laughs> so after that. You still look. Uh, the picture still have a lot of dark area, so I apply the, uh, one eight plus zero seven, to yep. fill to the dark area. Okay. Uh, shadow details. Shadow detail. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, with those two fill lights, um, the mid one, where did you put? Where do you put your uh fill light one? Where do you put your fill light two? Okay, one uh. It's nearly ninety degree. Uh, yep. Okay. On the camera left. Yeah, the camera left. So the second one maybe is uh forty five, forty five degree, uh from the left. Okay. Okay. So uh, the third one is maybe fifteen, uh ten mm -hmm. to fifteen, so you can yep. get this kind of result. Okay. Okay. Cool. So have a nice soft light wrap around her. Mm. Okay. So, Interesting. So uh, after you shoot this kind of picture, I think I think uh, this is a simple shoot. I want to do something to make it creative. So I need to change uh, the background. The background, uh, okay. Actually, I forgot what I write. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The background, you you want to do it uh unique and artistic, cause uh this this one uh if why why I need to specially do the background, cause I want uh one is or uh creative, another one is uh originality, so uh I do the background myself like this, so I would, uh shoot some uh wall. And also do some uh, try to get some picture and do do it with the soft light to merge it to the background. After that, uh, I will apply to the uh, this picture. Okay. 
So this is the next one. So uh, you can see the background got a little bit flower and some texture to make it looks uh, unique and special. Yeah. The this one is the studio shoot. Okay, so this one is uh, something uh, you add for looks unique. Okay, it's it's nice because the flower almost um, in the background actually um, it's. I know it's different flower, but the color palette wise, it's working nicely. It corresponds to the flower on, over her hair and the flower she's holding. Everything just yes. um, comes all together in a sense. Yeah. Actually, before that, I want to put the real flower at the back. But uh, yep. uh, it look, looks like normal shirt. Uh, like the girl standing in front of the flower, not not special. Yeah. So I, finally, I do some texture and do some artistic uh, background and apply it to the picture. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is uh, one more example. Uh, this is what, what I say just now. Side light, 45 degree to feel light to the uh, shadow part. Mm -hmm. And the uh, fifteen degree to feel to the uh, overall to make it look soft. Okay. So, uh, for example, you can see the hand. The hand, even though the hand also got highlight, mid tone, and shadow part. Then, uh, why I want to why I show you this one is uh. I just want to tell you, don't, don't just apply the front light on it to make the picture look soft. Yeah, uh, exactly. You must have uh, some uh, arrangement to make it look 3D. Uh, even though it's a really pale and soft photo, you need to look, make it look 3D. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's not about a, 3D rendering, it's more about lighting in 3D in a yeah. sense yeah it's a real day too okay i just probably for 100 percent to have a look uh, you can look at the yeah. hands got all the details mid tone and dark tone yeah. Even, uh, Would you... not not the front light actually it's 3d okay yeah this one is you're using 8300 yes yes uh what um so just for the curiosity of the crowd, what uh, ISO aperture as well as shutter speed did you use? Okay, uh, normally if uh, I have a lighting system, I will use ISO uh, 100 or maybe uh, lower than 100 if, if the camera have the setting. Maybe uh, for my example, uh, my Nikon D850. D850, yeah. Uh, I have uh, ISO 64, so I'm used ISO 64. Okay, because uh, I have a uh, lighting to help me to feel, uh, do my creation. So no need to worry about uh, is uh, maybe not not enough light or something. So uh, lighting is really important. <laughs> okay, if I don't have the uh, lighting system, I totally don't know how to shoot. <laughs> uh, at least got the sunlight. Uh. If uh, if uh, in the dark area, I, I totally don't know how to shoot. So the lighting is really important for me. Okay, uh, so this is a final result for this photo. Okay. Oh, beautiful. I love the way how it's so soft and subtle, but yet you, you yes. can obviously see the light is coming from the left camera left and all the highlights. Uh, mm. over her body as the bus area as well as her nose and her forehead and yes. you know her her bombs it's just great this is great and all the details i'm sure yeah, the so... um and all the all the dress details you say rather than you know your dress part of the dress is overexposed and another part of dress is uh, in, in a peach black or on you know have some funny color casts yeah yeah this is good stuff so the lighting uh, direction also really important. Uh, maybe don't uh, when you tune the angle, uh, don't uh, try to uh, don't shoot to the gown. 
because the mm. gown is a uh, white color. After you feel light yep. to the face, the 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 gown will be over exposure. Yeah. Mm. So maybe you can do some uh, fine tune to adjust the angle. Yeah, to make it looks perfect. Okay. You what do you mean by um? Use um, something to block or to soften the lights on the gum, and uh, how would you use yeah, it? Use grid? Maybe, uh, actually, I didn't block it. Uh, normally, I will block because uh, I will use uh, if I use AD two hundred got a uh, accessory got leaf one. I don't know how to call it. Actually, it's uh, the, it can cover the the direction uh, some some light to make it more concentrated. To, to the to the object yeah okay so this is a lighting setting at the 300 at the 300 and one 200 okay where do you play place the 8200 uh, sorry pardon where did you pl place the 8200 actually uh, it's I will place it uh, near near the okay okay uh, left side actually it's, uh, I will place near the next uh, left side but uh, for this picture cause uh, this part uh, the uh, when you look to the picture the right side not enough yep. light so I I tune the AD two hundred to to right uh, to the right oh, side a, a to little the right bit. yeah, yeah makes yeah. sense yeah. So uh, the light, is, if the lighting, the power is uh, lower than the the left, the two left light, so uh, yep. it will uh, 没有影响, how to say it? Uh, it has no effect. So yeah, uh, not not affect not affect the direction of the light. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because the field lights is so subtle, right? It, it's it's something yes. barely noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, this is a uh, yeah when I do shooting actually it's a very simple setting yeah yeah where's the third light I couldn't see the third lights you were talking actually uh, uh, it's uh, at the right side right behind you uh, yeah yeah behind me okay I can't wait already. yeah that's fine okay. my you need to lose some weight <laughs> <laughs> okay Kidding. Sorry about that. Uh, has, uh, That's uh, fine, mate. So, guys, just you guys, um, just you guys for uh, just to join us. It's three lights set up. Um, yeah. Key lights from the left. Um, first, a few on the left, right next to uh, the key, and third lights is eighty two hundred on the camera right. And yeah. I think with uh, those, the key lights. Did you use eighty? 85W or 8065W? Uh, 65W. Did you use yeah. grade? Uh, I didn't use. Yeah. Okay, no grade. Um, yeah. This one is 65 as well. The first few. Yeah. The how about the third one? one? Yeah, how about the third one? The 8200 Pro. Is that. Um, uh, actually, I didn't does it come with any anything. accessory? Yeah, I didn't put any accessory. I just use, use the round head. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because the round yeah, the round head the light is pretty even with the round head, so yes. It will be a good nice uh nice feel. Nice feel. Awesome. awesome. Okay. So you can see the detail. That's beautiful. Yeah, the feel light. All the haze. Yeah, you can see all the haze, uh, the shadow part. Even though it's pale, but uh, it's three D. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This this is a picture the most I like. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, mm. Maybe too many full body. <laughs> so, uh, for this shot, uh, I really like it. Yeah. Okay, the next one, uh, also the same. Three lighting, uh, the key light yeah. from the left, the uh, 45 degree field light, 
and mm-hmm. also the one at the 200 for the right side yeah, yeah for the shadow all the you yeah. know to leave all the black details yeah okay so you you can't see any really contrast shadow or something inside here but uh yeah, yeah because uh, the lighting have the direction and also I have a planning so you can see the bright still looks 3d okay uh, okay this one I did the composite so uh, I show you the next one yeah this is a picture yep. after I comp uh, after I did the composite okay oh nice what's the background it's like a Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Actually, I, I like the color. Before. I like the color palettes. Yeah. I it's very like cinematic. It. Would you yeah. want to share with us, Roger, um, you know, how we you light the model, right? And the background, the light needs to be consistent. Does it make sense? Yes. Would you want to share some experience when you, you know, when you do composite, the lighting of the mo over your model needs to be consistent with the lighting of the background or, or that? Just very simple composite tips in terms of lighting. Okay. Uh, so, uh, firstly, I look to the picture. Uh, for the bright, the, the, the light, lighting direction is from the left side. So, I would think about uh, when I try to choose the uh, stock photo. I should should think by me. I, I have a hobby. After I do the destination pre-editing shoot, I will take one to two days to go around to take some uh, stock photo. So uh, this photo, I will try to find some uh, photo. Of the lighting is from the left. Even from the light, also can uh, also can use because uh, the photo can flip to the flip to the other side to make make it one direction. Okay, so after that, I, I will choose uh, actually a lot of part. The back one from uh, Brazil, the front one, Macedonia. <laughs> uh, the, okay, and also uh, the flower blossom. Uh, yeah, also from Macedonia. So at uh, different place, I, after I take photo, I will look. Uh, what kind of uh, concept I want to do, and I, I I try to find out the picture to merge, uh, to the picture uh, to to this concept. So after I cut it out everything, uh, and make sure the lighting is from, uh, the left side direction. After that, I I will try to tune all the, uh, contrast color, then uh, get the this kind of final result. Yeah. Mm. So. The key point is have to make sure the lighting on over the subject is uh, consistent with the lighting in the background, right? Yes. And, and after the, after that, yeah, we need to be careful with the color, right? Because in terms of color temp, you know, uh, white balance, color temperature, um, yeah. you, whatever. Because the main subject of obviously is the model here. Um, needs to have this on the colder side of the white balance consistent, consistent with the background. And then the contrast. Um, mm. I think the soft light works perfect because the soft light over here is pretty soft. And another reason is that the background is foggy. It's kind of soft lights from the left as well. So, right? Light direction, uh, light contrast, and uh, um, the the temperature, the color temperature of the lights. It's three things you guys need to be, uh, uh, to make sure that you done that properly before you jump into the post production, uh, yes. sort of, um, yeah, sort of stage. Awesome. Thanks for the tips, Roger. Okay. Thank you. So the next one. Uh, okay. <laughs> 18 plus. Man, the it's a uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Okay. I know good uh, stuff. This is my favorite artist, one of my favorite artists. So, uh, all the picture here, I should uh, uh, I take uh, I take a reference from from Gustav Cream, and also the emotion from the uh, painting also. 
So I show you another one. So the emotion is nearly the same. <laughs> okay. Chin up and look down and also the mouth open a little bit. <laughs> okay. So this version uh, oh, sexy. Yeah. Looks sexy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this uh, this picture also is a uh, original directly output from RAW. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, just now uh, I remark here to start print emotion. Okay. So the lighting, uh, a little bit different, but also the uh, I just tune some angle. You can look at the uh, the uh, the draft here. One light is to the flower ring, okay? Yep. One light is to the flower ring. Another side light is to her face, okay? And one more few light to the mid-tone. To the mid-tone. Okay. On the camera, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Sometimes you can... No need, no need, uh, not only at the right, but it depends the situation. You can uh, at the front or maybe front left a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I love the drawing. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you. So this is a final result. Cool. Okay. Final result. Very cinematic yeah. look. Yeah. Yeah, and also the color. Uh, I try to follow. Of course, I uh, before that I, I look for the uh, I search for the Gustav print. So, a, a lot of color is uh, quite. Let's say the face, not only the uh, orange and red, still have a little bit blue color inside. Okay, uh, before that I'm a I'm an artist, uh, especially uh, especially in the oil painting. Actually, the face. It, uh, the darker the the mid tone and the dark dark area, not the black color. Sometimes I feel a little bit light purple, light blue color. After uh you combine everything, the finished uh result. Uh, is is still still a uh, something like this uh. uh you can see the the chin, uh is a little bit blue color, and the face here is a bit pink. So uh, you, the face not only orange color, you can apply a lot of color inside, cause uh for you, you for your own creation uh, but if for competition normally we put to uh, orange and pink. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay, this is another portrait side, uh, portrait one. Okay. Color uh, a bit different because uh, I, I do it different time. Okay. So the next one. Okay, this one I uh, do it with two light only. Okay. Uh, I take out the AD200 because uh, I have uh, enough sunlight for, for her. So the sunlight. To, to the girl is uh it's really even but uh looks flat so I need to create a uh, side light the side light is uh very really low power because I do the portrait shoot uh one over sixteen and one over thirty two for feel the mid tone and the sunlight uh cause it's got shadow and reflection I think the sunlight is uh below this one over thirty two because uh, it's for the field light. So uh, I use the sunlight to field light and side light, key light and uh, the mid-tone. Okay. And also I use 85mm F20 2.8 ISO 100 shutter speed 400. Uh, this is the uh, uh, detail. Okay. So the result is like this. Okay. Oh, nice. Even though the shadow part uh, not uh, not really contrast. 
always very soft. Okay. Okay. Next one. Actually, it's the same same area. Uh, you see the bright have a, a leaf at the right side. I just take the leaf leaf to the front, and should uh, get the result like this. Okay. Cool. Also, two point eight. Uh, I prefer shoot portrait. Uh, the uh, the aperture don't open till nine. Uh, if you do commercial, you can do it like this. But uh, for portrait, uh, better one point eight, two point eight. Uh, yeah. Find something like this. Okay. So the skin looks softer, and it's um, it's kind of natural to the human eyes, isn't it? Yes. When we see people that close, we kind of look into her eyes, and her nose just uh, you know blurs out a slight bit. I mean, mm -hmm. if it's it's sort of magazine cover and people have a specific f f purpose, like you just said, like cosmetic, then it's different story. But if we shoot portrait and for clients for a certain look, I prefer a bigger kind of wide, wider open aperture, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay, this one, uh, I try to do a composite. Okay, so uh, because the situation, I don't have a, a big background, so I just do it. For the white area, because uh, mm. the gown is white, the hair also white. So I use the back, uh, black color background to make it look contrast, easy to cut out. Mm. So the bright is inside the, uh, the backdrop. So outside, uh, I... I just leave it, I want to cut it up. Okay. So after cut out, this is a result. Okay. Oh nice. Oh my god. This is just gorgeous. The girl inside the jungle <laughs> and then and then got the uh, elephant stone something that uh, like the fantasy place okay. yeah you know quite every so often i i do some you know some cool with cine we have some cool you know photo shoots locations um yeah. uh sometimes in a waterfall uh you know in macquarie pass sometimes yeah. they call the figure eight sort of you know very nice rock pool area figure eight it's really good we like hiking for 45 minutes just to take that few photos there and um and i risk uh, sometimes risk our life in a sense because there were snakes uh on the way we wa wa we walked down to the waterfall and uh i'm jealous you just finished the photo shoots in your in your garage <laughs> in your backyard i mean this is cool this is cool stuff thank you thank you Okay, that's the next one. Beautiful. Also the same. Uh, I just repeat, repeat, repeat. Uh, key light for the left. Uh, few light for the shadow. And one more uh, light to the overall. Okay. So we can get this kind of result. You can try it when you're free. Okay, uh, I just zoom in for it. Yeah. It's gorgeous details. No dark shadow inside. Yeah. Okay. I imagine it will make your life a hell lots of easier when, when you are um, using this kind of light setup <laughs> with skin retouch, yeah. right? It's just yeah. very efficient. Even... Uh, yeah, even though the dark area also don't have the because you feel all the light to the model, uh, so the dark area even you pull it really uh, means a, a lot of uh, retouching. The noise not come out one, still mm. still very clear, because uh the, the information the is lights. enough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, 
So after that, I use the dry flower. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, I don't have idea already. I just <laughs> apply a, a play around. Yeah. You have fun. So I think it's uh it's good for info uh good for photo photo detail. So uh, I zoom it the dry flower you can see a lot of detail inside. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, not using the lighting, maybe the shadow is uh too contrast. Uh, yeah, you cannot bring out the detail. Yeah, uh, when you do editing. Okay. And the skin, when you leave the skin, you know, shadows, it looks kind of muddy, right? The skin looks a bit dirty. Yeah. Um, and with the right lighting, that makes the whole skin just looks, oh, perfect. Yeah. Juicy. <laughs> okay. So some of the detail, you can see yep. even though the hair also uh, you can see, you can see a lot one by one. Yeah, really clear. Not uh, not uh, sometimes uh, if you don't know how to apply the lighting, it looks uh, really dark and maybe blend in uh, with the noise. So uh, my picture seldom have have noise. Yeah. Mm. So this is a final one. Yeah. Oh, nice. I like the background. Very fine arts and um, yeah, cool. Yeah, so I I'll show you the uh, the making. I have sure. a video for the making. Oh, nice! Yeah. Excited. Here you go. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't uh, put it there. Can you replay it? Oh, good stuff. May I know it's probably off topic, but may I say that you certainly know how to find the right angle for the um for the for the for the model. You, I mean, she's beautiful, but you make her look stunning. All right, <laughs> uh, can we come back to the PPT, please? Okay, okay, okay. Don't say anything here. Is the PPT? Okay. Oh, no. Let's go. Stop sharing. No. Sorry, yeah. Uh, That's fine, mate. It's oh, it's question. good. I think I crossed the PPT just now. Am I? Glad oh. you enjoyed it, Dan. Jerry, 
Light setups are editing very low. Yeah. I think with Roger, um, yeah, the way he edits, lots of people think it's a lot of editing there. It's actually lots of touching in terms of lighting. You have a good fun, you have a good foundation. Then you, you know, how you have a good piece of steak, then you can cook it whatever the way you like. You can cook a beef tataki or you can cook a, a nice steak. Okay. Oh. Time. <laughs> Hi. 36 lessons with online with uh with with uh, Roger Tan. Tell us. Yeah, actually, hey. Uh, uh, yeah. Hey Key, how are you? Oh man, miss you. Hey, Key. Miss you. <laughs> yeah. Jealous him. He, 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 he got a lot of plants. <laughs> yeah, okay. he has lots of luxury clients, I tell ya. Oh, and his okay. backyard is so large. In order to leave, when I leave his kitchen, I need to take an Uber to his um, his toilet. That's how big his backyard was. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm kidding, no, but he, he, he had a big house, yeah. Uh. Okay. Uh... Just uh, simply, yeah, go, go ahead. Uh, okay. So with the 36 lessons, are you teaching editing or are you teaching lighting? Uh, actually, I'm teaching, this one is uh, only for the editing. So okay, I cool. Will, uh, Dropbox, uh, the, the raw file, and yep. also the final result picture. Mm -hmm. And then I have a video uh, you can view every time yeah anytime yeah. you can view anytime for the video for the lesson yeah yeah so so Raja, you are asking about the hdr look or you know uh um uh the hdr look or you know you know multiple exchange blending it's not that it's not that difficult or it's not that much of work you might just uh look into roger's editing class and look into his raw file i believe most of his raw files will be one shot right roger yeah yeah, it'd be good. You you just checking out, just checking out his raw file, and he will teach you how to step by step, uh, doing post production via his, uh, uh, via his, uh, his, uh, his thirty six lessons, of his. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Do you have a before after? You know, some photos to show us. What would you be covered in the in the um, in the classes? Uh, okay, I will show you, but uh. Not today. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, you just uh maybe you add my Roger Dan art uh eh? yeah the Roger Dan Live. You can go you you can join my group. I, I have a few video inside, you can have a look first. So uh my course my courses will be come come out by before Christmas. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sure. Um, so guys, just following, just follow Roger Tan on his Instagram or Facebook and uh, stay tuned if you love the way he's editing or the, the style of his image. Right. Yeah. Cool. In the Roger Tan live. You just uh, click in. Yeah. And, and I, will approve, uh, I will approve you inside. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. For the record. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for the record, um, you know, he does actually have a car starts with B. Yeah, he um, he sometimes his car is so luxury; it's a uh, more it's more luxury than the 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 car of the groom. That's how um, how cool, you know, how successful he is. All right. Okay, so this is all the poster. Yeah, I, I will send it to the group. Uh, I will send it to the Roger Dunn live group uh, soon. Cool. Okay. All right, guys, All right, guys. take out and um, follow Roger if you're interested in his work and uh, especially his uh, post production and editing styles. And um, yeah, you guys can okay. start the conversation from there. So, actually, uh, the flower session is done. I have a few yep. uh, extra bonus at the background. <laughs> yeah.
because uh, maybe some uh, somebody not uh, not really like the soft soft effect. Uh, this one is a uh, oh, oh, it's my famous technique. Yeah, so I show you how how it should. This is your backyard too. Uh, no, 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 not backyard. Yeah. Okay. It's slightly smaller than kilos, but yeah, it still works. It's still beautiful. Okay, this is my toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. Talk. All right. Okay, uh, show this picture the lighting. Okay, uh, because the sunlight is uh, at the is behind the the right side, so uh, the sunlight not uh, how to say. Uh, let me check the dictionary. <laughs> okay, so sorry about that. I love That's right. this picture. So yeah. sun is coming in from the right hand side. You are placing the lights within the same direction as the sun. No, uh, no, actually, it's at uh, the back, the right side, okay. back side. So uh, okay. the the sunlight cannot re uh, radiate uh, to the cannot to the bride. yeah cannot reach the girls right. Yeah, uh, cannot reach the bride. Uh, yeah, okay. The, the the back side of the wall. Okay. okay. So I apply another light. Uh, from here, interesting. From the yeah. right side, yeah, to to shoot to the uh to lead up the model to the bright to the model, and yeah. you can see the, the bright yep. uh, the shadow. Got the uh the the rooftop shadow at the mm. uh, backs of the model. Actually, oh, I draw yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, to make people looks uh the light is come by nature. Actually, actually, it's not not a natural light. Okay. Oh my gosh. You draw yeah, out so, the, sh you draw out that. Yeah, I try to oh, make gosh. it uh, looks looks uh, logic and natural. So I draw okay. some shadow at the back to make it look uh, logic. Uh, otherwise, yeah, yeah. So that it's okay. believable, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's believable. Okay, so the, uh, I'm using Nikon at the eight hundred. Uh, the lighting. Mm -hmm. I use AD two hundred because uh, that time uh, the AD three hundred not come out yet. Yeah. yeah. So I like to use shoot with uh, F nine. Normally, mm. uh, my shooting setting, I will shoot it uh, with the uh, seven point one to nine aperture to get a good result for doing editing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, the second picture. Actually, the sun also the right side at the back one. So, uh, the sunlight is until the building. Actually, the staircase here, uh, still got sunlight, but uh, the the bright uh, backs, uh, the gown until the tail, yep. is dark. So I apply another light from the right side. To make it look uh, logic. To leave out, the, yeah, yeah. To leave out, out the, the shadow back. details of the dress, right? Of yeah. all the dress and the back and her back. Yeah. yeah. You can see uh, yep. the light is natural, but got one one part not natural. You can see the round circle here, the aha here. Yep. It got a shadow inside. Yeah. Means uh, the lights uh. If I want to do uh, editing, I need to take it out. Otherwise, okay. you can see uh, got two lights inside the picture. Okay. No. Yeah, prefer to take it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this third picture I, I posted on uh, Facebook. Quite a lot yep. of people like it. It's really good. Yeah. Actually, I shoot it from the level two. Uh, yeah, got got a staircase to go out. Uh, so it's really easy. <laughs> yeah, with a color gel, cause uh, yeah. the overall here, uh, a little bit too, uh, cause uh, still, still afternoon, the light is really strong, so I need to put a bit, uh, color gel to make it looks. Uh, yeah. cool and warm inside. Yeah. Yeah. 
So did you use a, what, did you use CTO, half CTO, a quarter CTO? What's CTO? Like uh, the orange gel, the yellow gel? Yeah, the orange. Uh, yeah. A bit brown color, I, I forgot the name. Uh, oh my gosh, you create yeah. a stunning image like this, and you tell me you don't remove the, the, the name of the color gel. <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess my guessing will be it's half CTO gel. Looks like it's half or, qu or, or quarter CTO gel to me. Yeah. Because right. uh, when I used the gel, I, I didn't go to look at the name. <laughs> That's right. It's about yeah. the master himself. It's never about the CTO gel. I, I, get, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yep. uh, another angle. Actually, this is a place I place the light. But uh, after the first shoot, I go out and take another another angle shoot. So this is a same place with different angle. Okay. Just shoot it from right. the top. Yeah. Yeah. So the lighting is the same. Same with this. Yep. Just change an angle. Okay. Cool. Okay. Actually, this one. Uh, not a composite okay but uh, every uh, a lot of people ask me they will say that this is a composite actually not i show you the picture uh yeah i really hang the bright uh, upside down holy you crazy man <laughs> uh before that i i put a table i try to arrange the lighting first before i take yeah. out yeah, so I have a light from the lower part yeah. uh, for the bright face. And then uh, you can see the top here. Uh, I have a few light from the far uh, to fill the whole light, the, the whole light of the bright. Yeah. But uh, why I put the wall light? But one light to, to fill to the wall. Because the far, the, uh, the face light and the far, far light have a mm. shadow to the wall. So I need to apply another another lighting to uh, kill out all the shadow. Yeah, yeah, to fill in the shadows, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, finally I get this result. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, finally, really they take out the table and then uh, ask the guys to hold the bright upside down. Uh, and then throw, uh, I got two people throw the, throw the gown and get this picture. Yeah. yeah. So this you know, I thought um, you know Kilo is one of the wildest wedding photographer and the most energetic uh, wedding photographer I've ever ever met. You know, um, he's been shooting sixteen hours and he's still jumping around. But oh. you are, you are one of the wildest no, creative no. wedding photographer I've ever seen, man. Like I do lots of creative shots, but it's nothing even close to this. You hand the bright upside down, man. This is a new. Uh, no, of course, uh, something the bright is really very thin. impressive. Yeah. 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 Actually, if if can, uh, uh, if can, I ask other people to hold the camera and I, I, I do the upside down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay, kidding, kidding. Yeah. Okay, the next one is the. Uh, so, this is the final result. Yeah. The next one is Beautiful. really simple. Uh, it's an evening. Uh, I just apply one light on it with the uh, full power because uh, this uh, this uh, picture is really wide. So uh, the lighting need to put very far. Yeah. Yep. So uh, actually, I didn't do because uh, got some uh, some of the photographer they like to put one light in front of the bright after shoot they take out the. Uh, Take another landscape shoot to uh, to to blend out the uh, the first light, but uh, I'm a lazy guy, <laughs> so uh, I just put the light really far and uh, try to put it full power to to the bright. So uh, finally, I get this this result. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's great. Oh. Okay. Actually, I okay. Applied. We have a we have yeah. one question, guys. Okay. Um. Roger, maybe let's just answer this question be before we wrap up. No problem. Uh, any question, just ask. 
Yeah. Okay. So the, is the lighting using this picture? It's 8300 or 8200? 200. Actually, I don't okay. see them at that time. Did you yeah. use color gel and grate or no? Uh, of course. Because the, uh, this is evening. Uh, yep. the, if, if, you, if you put without gel, uh, the, the temperature is uh, a bit blue. So I need to apply an, uh, a color gel to make it look similar with the background. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Did you use a grate or no? Huh? Did you use a grate? You know. It's a grate. Yeah. What do you mean? Sorry. Ah uh, no. Uh, or snoot or whatever to limit the direction of the of the lights. Oh, just focus. Okay. Uh, yeah, I used the uh, how to call it for the four leaf one. Ah, uh, okay. The bam door. Yeah. yeah. The bam door. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, mate. That's all. I think that's all Jesse uh, needs to know. Yep. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. Awesome. Uh, if there's no further questions, um, I certainly had a great night and uh, I hope everybody else does. Uh, Roger, do you want to reshare the, um, your Instagram page and a Facebook page so that people can follow you? Okay. No problem. Awesome. All right, guys. So, if you are interested, I think Roger is going to uh, do a thirty-six, uh, uh, thirty-six lessons online courses, focus on editing. He's going to share his raw image with you, just to know that most of the shots is done by one shots. It's single exposure. That's it. It's more about his the way he edits his image, and it's more about the way he leads up in his image. I'm certain that. Um, I am going to follow, join his group, and uh, and uh, nerve from him. And uh, if you guys enjoy his style as much as I do, um, follow him. Follow him on Instagram and uh, follow him on Facebook, and um, you will be able to find a lot of good stuff there. Um, we certainly focus on lighting, but if you're interested in post production, you can join his Facebook group. And uh, for now, everybody. I certainly had a great time. I hope everybody do enjoy the talk with Roger as much as I do. And I hope everybody have a great evening. And um, I'll see you guys until next time. Thank you, Roger. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.